Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Stewart, and it's my honor to welcome you to this beautiful and historic day at the University of Alabama. It's uh, not surprising that uh, the DeBoers were given such an incredible greeting at the airport yesterday and from Alabama fans all throughout the course of the morning as well, but we're so glad you're here, and we look forward to learning more about you very soon. At this time, it's my honor to introduce the president of the University of Alabama. Please welcome Dr. Stuart Bell. Thank you, Chris, and good afternoon, everyone. Today is an exciting day for the University of Alabama community, our fans, certainly across this nation, and I think, I've, as I've learned, literally across the globe, the excitement. Today marks a new chapter in Crimson Tide football program, and I am filled with immense anticipation and enthusiasm for what lies ahead. I want to express my gratitude to each person in this room who has played a vital role in supporting our university and the Alabama football program. Your guidance, your dedication to the university and our programs continues to be instrumental in the success that we enjoy year over year. First, a special acknowledgement is due to Coach Saban and Miss Terry, whose influence on our student athletes have just been outstanding. It's immeasurable contributions, and also to our university community, but also Tuscaloosa and West Alabama is just truly unparalleled. Your legacy will forever be, be interwoven with the fabric of the university, and we're profoundly thankful for enduring impact on our student athletes who are in West Alabama, but again, truly all over the world. Thank you, Coach, for all that you have done. Also want to absolutely. I also want to express my appreciation to Athletic Director Greg Byrne, whose leadership and hard work, and I don't think hard work really captures uh, the last few days, but he has been instrumental in identifying the right person, the perfect person, to lead our football program forward, to develop our student athletes, and to represent our university. Greg, thank you for all you've done. Much gratitude as well to all of our UA Board of Trustees, many who are with us here today. Thank you for your leadership, for your guidance. Uh, Pro Tem Scott Phelps, also special thanks to our athletic chair, Mike Brock, over the last couple of days has also spent a lot of time in working with the Chancellor, uh, Finest St. John, and to everyone's ongoing leadership, guidance, and support uh, throughout this process. Thank you for that. So as we embark on this next exciting chapter, I am truly thrilled for the future of the Crimson Tide. Our elite student athletes continue to represent our university with distinction and demonstrate excellence both academically as well as on the field. Their success remains a pride point and a hallmark for this university. Without further delay, I'll now turn it over to Greg Byrne, who will officially introduce our new head coach, share more details about the transformative moment that we're at for Crimson Tide football. Roll Tide, Greg. Thank you, Dr. Bell. Um, this is an exciting day for the University of Alabama as we welcome Kalen DeBoer as their 28th head football coach. Thank you to Dr. Bell, Chancellor St. John, uh, Athletic Chair Mike Brock, uh, our Board of Trustees, for your leadership and support at all times, and especially during the last few days. Appreciate Coach Saban and Miss Terry so much for being here today, and we look forward to celebrating them and their incredible accomplishments in the future. When I met with the team the other day after Coach announced his retirement, I asked them to give us 72 hours to help find our next head coach. I received a text from a friend shortly thereafter that said, every coaching search day feels like the equivalent of seven days. When you're in the middle of it, there's some truth to that. Even with that, we were able to hire Coach DeBoer in 49 hours. Regina and I 
want to, and I want to thank her for all of her support during this. We had a great conversation with Coach DeBoer and Nicole in Seattle just a, two days ago. And from there, I knew he was the right choice for the Crimson Tide. Simply put, Coach DeBoer is a winner. In his nine seasons as a head coach, he's 104 and 12. He went 25-3 in his 25 and 3 in his two seasons at Washington after taking over a challenging situation. As we know and watched, he just led the Huskies to the 2024 college football playoff national championship game. Washington won the 2023 Pac-12 championship. They recorded the most wins in a season in Washington program history with full program history with 14 last year. He won six of the eight National Coach of the Year awards in 2023 and is back-to-back Pac-12 Coach of the Year award winner. In his last two years, his teams went 10 and one against ranked opponents. The list goes on and on. He's a ball coach. Impressive as those accolades are, what stands out equally as much are his relationships off the field and the way he cares about his players. One of the many things I felt responsibility for in the search was to make sure we had someone who cared for our kids just as much as Coach and Miss Terry did. And at the end of the day, when we're hiring a coach, I ask a simple question, because I got to keep it pretty simple for myself. Is this, someone I'd, is this someone I would want my son to play for? The answer for Coach DeBoer is absolutely. We are thrilled to welcome Kalen, his wife, Nicole, his daughters, Alexis and Avery, here today as we introduce the next head football coach of the University of Alabama, Kalen DeBoer. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, this is exciting. This is really exciting for myself and my family. Um, as uh, they were introduced, uh, I, I, first of all, I got a lot of thank yous and, and people I want to uh, show some appreciation to. But uh, Nicole, Alexis, Avery, um, you know, this journey that we're on called life, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's special. And, you know, special days like this are the ones that we're never going to forget. And uh, I can't thank them enough for their support, uh, their love. They're the ones that allow me to each and every day leave the house, uh, go to work, and give everything I have to my, our players, our staff, um, to help us be the best we can be. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to thank uh, Greg. Um, I know this is happening fast, and I've, I just can't say enough about the, the trust uh, that you have in me and how much I appreciate that. Uh, it means so much. Um, we had never met. We had never met, you know, and, uh, you know, to, to do your due diligence and all of that and uh, go through the process, um, you know, I really appreciate it. And I just, uh, I'm so excited to lock arms with you as I am the rest of the athletic department, all the head coaches here, and uh, continue to build on the great tradition of Alabama athletics as a whole. You know, so many championships, so many great coaches I cannot wait to meet. Um, we're going to continue to strive to make this thing better all together. Um, President Bell and uh, Chancellor St. John, appreciate you guys as well. Looking forward to building this university together. And uh, it's special. And uh, thanks for this opportunity. Um, I could go on and on about the next person I need to thank, show appreciation to, love, and you all know who that is, and Coach Saban. Uh, we just talked for the first time yesterday. And uh, I've been his ear a couple times already here. And man, I can just feel in his voice. Um, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen it for many years. Um, you know, this place is special. It's special to him, but it's special to all of you because he's what he, he's built it up to be. Um, it's not just about the championships. I, meet with the, I met with the team last night and heard from them and heard why they came here, okay? A lot of great reasons all tied to the Alabama brand, the education, 
um, playing here, you know, each and every Saturday and uh, the support that they, they get. But obviously there was a, a major piece of that where they came here because Coach Saban and uh, Miss Terry, you know, poured everything into them and they, they just saw the vision and wanted to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a privilege um, to, be, to be chosen to be in this role. It's one I don't take lightly. Um, and I know that Coach Saban's been working hard to make sure that this program is in a great spot for the next person to take over. I think there's, he hasn't told me this, but I think there's an intentionality um, that's been in place. You know, you kind of figure out, um, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I think you kind of know at some point, you don't know when that point is, but you want to make sure it's in a great place. And as you can see, just from this past season, um, it's in a great place. And being in a room last night where, you know, I saw a team that has stuck together. Greg talked about 72 hours, okay? I want you to put yourself in those guys' shoes, okay? The legendary coach, okay, that they came to play for, all right? And now what's next? And I can't tell you how much I appreciate them already. And I've had multiple meetings last night today with them, individually, leadership groups. I, I know how badly they want to continue the tradition, how they want to do it the right way. And them just getting to know me here in just a few hours, it's been a blast. And I can't wait for the journey that lies ahead. But Coach Saban, thank you for all you've done, um, for laying the foundation for myself this, and the rest of this uh, staff that will hire and these players to continue to build on everything you've, you've done here. So thank you. He's the best in the business to ever do it. I'm just, I'm just gonna make sure that's all known that that's how I feel. And 100% uh, access, okay, to everything. I would be a fool if that wasn't the case. I would be a fool. And uh, I'm gonna ask him that he uh, shows up and make sure he gives me at least one thing every day. I'm sure he's gonna have 10. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be good with that. But uh, at least one thing that he sees uh, that we can get better at. And so, um, I also think it's, it's so important to understand that uh, most programs don't just have, they, they don't even have one legend, right, uh, that, that's in their program or have come through, through the years. And we have probably more than two if you really want to talk about it, but uh, Coach Bryant, right? And when I talked to Coach Saban yesterday, he spoke of that. And, you know, that just right there told me um, just how humble uh, he is and how grateful he has been to follow in someone else's shoes and continue to build on what we have here at Alabama. Um, you know, I have so many mentors that have helped me get to this spot. I'm not gonna get into it, uh, but every play or every coach that I've sat in a film room with, uh, a staff room, when I was an assistant, when I've been a head coach, the head coaches I've worked for, uh, I just, they, they hold such a, a strong spot in my heart because they've all helped me get to the place where I'm at today. And uh, I'll get into the players and what I want to see out of them and how we want them to grow uh, while they're here at Alabama. But I also want to make sure that the coaches that I continue to have the privilege to work with each and every day, each and every year, that they understand the commitment I have to them to help them meet their aspirations and goals. Many of them want to be coordinators, many of them want to be head coaches, and I'm looking forward to that journey for them. Um, when, I think, when I think about different words, and I'll have a few here that I'll, I'll, I'll bring to you, one of them's embrace. And I think you get the sense that embracing the tradition and embracing um, the athletic department um, is something that's very special to me. I also want you to know that you as a community, everyone here, I can't wait for my family and I to embrace you and uh, you know, feel that same thing uh, back to us. I know that that will be the case I don't have to look much past last night when we flew in and the welcome and the reception that was there. Um, it, was, it was so awesome. It was not overwhelming, but uh, it was very close to it. And uh, I appreciate that. I also, I think, want to make sure our alumni know that I'll embrace them and that this will always be their place. This will always be their home. I know that uh, so many have gone through it and played for Coach Saban, and uh, that should not change as far as how they feel about this place. And we need you. And uh, you know the investment hours that have been put in, 
by me compared to what has made this place what it is. Um, for me, it's very little. And uh, I want to learn the stories. I want to learn all the great moments. Um, I know many of them. I've watched from afar. But I know there's so many behind the scenes and things that are just important to the tradi tradition and the alumni and can't wait to have you here and uh, hear all your great stories um, along the way. But, um, you know, I just want to reiterate my excitement. And, you know, people ask, I've already asked, like, why would you go to Alabama? Why? Well, I think there's a lot of really obvious answers, right? And I've touched on that. When it comes to tradition and the history of the program, it's second to none, okay? And when I look at the places that I want to be, it's about winning championships. And that's an expectation that I cannot wait um, and accept as a privilege to try to uphold winning SEC championships, winning national championships. That's an expectation and a love and an interest that I've always had and a passion that I'll have and looking forward to carry on with our players, our staff, and all of you here um, as, we go through, as we go through these uh, years ahead. The resources, the facilities, everything that can be here to support our, our players, our staff, that's my role as a head coach is to provide that atmosphere, that environment. And when you have resources like we have here at Alabama, it makes my job easier, okay? And uh, looking forward to, to uh, utilizing and showing off <laughs> these resources to the, those that want to be uh, wearing the crimson. Um, a belief of mine when it comes to just athletics is that it brings people together. Again, last night, right? People coming together and in a much bigger fashion in this, uh, in this beautiful stadium here behind you. Um, bringing people together, bringing a community together. Uh, I'm learning about the enrollment of the university and how it's grown, you know? And that's, I know, a credit to what the football program but, has done, but also to uh, everyone else, you know, buying into the philosophical beliefs of uh, this great university. But, um, when it comes to, to you know, bringing people together, that is a passion of mine. Um, there's something special about you know, being a head coach and the investment that goes into trying to make all the different pieces fit, having the right people in those places. And these facilities are awesome, but it's the people that make the place special. It truly is. And I felt that, and I've heard that from Greg as we talk, um, that you here, you all, um, you have made this special, and it's not just about these beautiful resources, these beautiful facilities. So I'm looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. I think alignment is important. So when we're talking about, you know, why Alabama, alignment from president on through to Greg, to the head coach, and on down, I just think that the alignment and, you know, just everything that we're all trying to accomplish together in locking arms and, and uh, fighting the same fight that we all want and, and knowing that uh, our passions um, are all the same, uh, that alignment is critical. And the programs and the universities and all the, the, the different uh, sport teams that have success, there's usually some sort of alignment. And uh, we certainly have that here on a very strong level at Alabama, and I'm 100% convinced of that. When it comes to our goals, I shared with you it's to win the SEC in a national championship, but how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with class. We're going to do it with integrity, okay, with academic ex excellence. And um, that is uh, my job to make sure we uphold the standard that has been set here at Alabama uh, and continue to build on that. When it's, uh, when it's about winning, um, you know, it's also about a culture. And I will share with our guys that as we already have here a culture that is contagious. And you'll hear me say that many times. I cannot wait to add to that, continue to make it to where you can feel through the TV screen when someone's watching a game, how hard our guys play and how much they love each other and care for each other and how badly they want to win for all of you. And you know, the culture will be contagious and more and more people, just as it's been, will want to continue to be a part of this. And the last piece uh, when it comes to developing players athletically, academically, socially, and even spiritually, okay, and that being our focus as a staff, we, in the end, want to make sure that we're building better men. We want to build better men because someday, okay, football will be over, okay? Someday, real life will hit you in the face. And 
building better men and this time that we're going through, this phase in their life, it is one of the most influential that they will have. And it is, it is a privilege, it is an honor to be someone in a position that can have that influence. And I don't take that like, lightly, and I will surround myself with a staff that will be great husbands, great fathers, great people, provide a template for our great players that come through here to understand what it looks like to be a man. And uh, that's an awesome goal. Our staff will have a lot of attributes and, and qualities, um, and that will definitely be one of them. And so, um, you know, developing athletically, academically, socially, and spiritually. What's next? Uh, you know, as we build our team, uh, last night, just got to hear from some guys. Uh, wasn't a lot of questions, uh, especially as a whole team, but, you know, you break off into the little segments, and then, then, they, then they start talking, and, uh, and that's what I want to hear. I want to hear what makes this place special. Um, I want to hear about the traditions that I'm unaware of. I want to hear about all the things that, that really matter to them and uh, ingrain myself into what's been special about Alabama football. But it all starts with the relationships and communication, which builds the trust that we must have to step on the football field with great chemistry, as you've seen years upon years upon years, okay? It isn't just about talent. Talent gets you a long ways, but the championship teams have something special. They have that it factor. And the relationships that we will build will help us have an accountability for each other. Okay, accountability to ourselves, accountability from coach to coach, coach to player, player to player, player to coach. We'll also form a brotherhood, a brotherhood that is so tight okay, that anything that comes our way will not break us. And we'll be tough. And we call these our three non-negotiables that we will stand by and the toughness piece. It's not just physical, okay, which is what Alabama pri football prides itself on. It will also be mental. Mental toughness, understanding how to handle adversity, because we understand the challenge that it takes to win a national championship. We understand that it's not easy. It never is, but anything worth anything at all is hard. And we're looking forward to that journey and to those, uh, to those uh, challenges. When it comes to a style of football, um, I, don't, I don't know what you've seen about how we've played, but obviously playing hard um, is, a, is a big piece of it. But what we try to do, it's always gonna be around our personnel. It's, it's, Always, yes, we're going to recruit the best, the, the highest character guys, but we're going to be able to have, have uh, concepts and systems that are, are able to be adjusted uh, to what we have and what our strengths are. Uh, as much as we have great players at every position, there are some positions that are stronger than others from year to year. And we will be explosive. I can promise you that. We will be aggressive. We will attack. And... Um, you know, we understand that the game was meant to be play, played one way still, and that's to be physical and dominate in the line of scrimmage and control it from both sides of the ball will always be a staple of our program. And as we go through, as we go through utilizing our personnel and having a dominant offense and defense along with fundamental, fundamental special teams, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy coming to games and seeing how we play and enjoying, you know, wanting to, to come in and, and uh, you know, cheer on and, and understand the guys that are wearing those helmets, um, they have a lot of talent, but they're really special people and uh, pouring everything they can into it. When it comes to recruiting, and I can go on and on um, about how we will recruit, um, it is, I understand it's the lifeblood of our program, and we can have great coaches, but the guys on the field are the ones that make the place. And a relentless attitude starting with, first and foremost, myself, and our, then leading to our staff. It's what it's gonna take um, to be the best of the best here with tough, tough competition here in the SEC and to win a national championship. I'm looking forward to rolling up my sleeves and uh, going to work. And I wanna say one more thing um, because this is something that's very important to me and I wanted to say it last um, because I knew I might get emotional, I'm not sure, but I need to thank some people, okay, back at Washington and it's a special place to me. It really is. And this was one of the few places, maybe the only place, that I would have ever left to, to come coach at. Because I understand what Alabama football is all about. And those 
those guys that I sat in front of a room yesterday, I know what they're going through because I saw the same thing less than 24 hours ago. And I just, I just want to tell everyone, because I know they're, they're watching, I just want to tell you guys I love you. I will miss you. And, um, you know, I want nothing but the best for everyone back there. And uh, the journey of the last two years have been special. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the new journey that lies ahead. I'm looking for those new challenges here. Cannot wait, like I said, to roll up my sleeves with all of you, with our team, okay, and go to battle each and every day, each and every, each and every week, each and every year. So thank you and roll tide. We were all waiting on it, and you didn't disappoint. You got the roll tight in, Coach. Great job. <laughs> Fantastic. At this time, I uh, would like to ask the media that uh, will be attending the breakout question and answer sessions, uh, if you would, make your way to the west elevators to my right, your left. Uh, print media will be in the recruiting room. Cameras will be in the media room. So again, if the, uh, the print media would head to the recruiting room and the cameras to the media room, again, to, uh, to my right. Uh, guests that are attending the reception, if you would make your way to the elevators downstairs to the locker room. Thank you again so much for attending, and I can't do it as well, but roll tight.